hey what's up guys welcome to another video and in this particular video i'm going to talk about how to perform security testing on websocket and uh, find some of the really interesting vulnerability so one of the interesting vulnerability that you can make out of this particular screenshot is sql injection vulnerability so i believe i already made videos on websocket uh, security testing if you have not yet checked that then you can go ahead and check i will put the link in the description also in the i button so that you can go ahead and watch it out now this particular video is purely based on this particular git account as well as the blog where this guy is Rehan has uh, completely posted about the whole entire tutorial about how to go about automating the SQL injection for a WebSocket. So let's just go ahead and uh, try to learn it. So first as he says like uh, you need to git clone this particular uh, repo as well as you know have docker compose present on your system so i have uh, set up these things on my local so let's just go to my kali box okay so this is here what you're going to get after you know git clone so you just need to open this and type docker okay docker compose up and this should run for some guys who were actually getting into some error uh, i will put the docker compose a yaml file so all I did is because I'm using older version of Docker Compose, so I have to add this version 3, right? And this should work out of the box. So for me, uh, this thing is working. So for you, whenever you are running for the first time, it might take some time because it will download all those dependency database, web server, and other thing. So once this is done, uh, I'll just go ahead and start Burp Suite as well as because that is what we need just to see the initial communication and let me go to my firefox browser and uh, go to okay we don't want to update right now click on next then let's get started okay so meantime yeah so this should be bring out this bob suite and uh, let's just change the port to 88 okay you can basically change to any other port as you would like and uh, let me go to the preference and and verify it okay i usually prefer this method so 8088 it's all set well and properly so as per the information that has been shared by the author once it's done all you need to do is go to local host and uh, colon i believe it is on port number something different let me check 8156 okay and just press enter so this will bring you this particular, uh, you know, uh, uh, page which says like employee list. Uh, so if you see, let's say, like employee one, uh, then you will basically see the employee exists. So if you say employee double one, employee doesn't exist. So it's pretty self-explanatory. So let's just go ahead and intercept one of the requests and get to know what is there in employee one. Ah, it's not capturing basically the reason is it is local host so let me just go ahead and check my IP address okay and uh, here we go I need to replace local host with this particular IP address okay and it should be working let's just go ahead and change it voila so it's working right so let's just go ahead and put one and it's say employee one so if you see this is basically a web socket right so you can basically use the same i believe already explained in previous video so you can use this directly to make the communication done it says like employee exists so if i change to double one yeah it's gonna say that not found if i say double one and single quote then it says okay employee not found okay let's just wait and yeah so it says like that means the, it is not been able to find let's just verify here so it says employee not found so this is where we got that there is websocket in use basically you don't see much information in the HTTP history but you will see more information in the websocket history part so now uh, let's uh, here is one challenge if you try to use SQL map directly so uh, let me just take you I mean manual way right you can of course you can use this a, B, C, D, and uh, let's say I'm using a simple version command detector, right? So I can say or substring, okay, substring, and then I can use string, okay, substring, and then I can say version and put a 
comparison I put it for true and false equal to let's say I'm saying six not true so let me check Bob if the interception is on let me see seven okay I believe it is not working let me change to some other value okay it has stopped let me refresh the whole page and check okay and uh, yeah looks like there's some bug all right anyway you can use this uh, interceptor in, within bug to replicate the same information right so if we send it uh, it's due to this reconnection that might have failed okay so no worries if we send over here which says employee exist right if I say seven or four let's say uh, it's gonna say employee not found if it is like seven it will still say employee not found if it is eight then it will say employee exit so this specifically tells you that uh, you know this database is version eight let's go back to the actual game and uh, let's uh, take it home by finding the real SQL injection or using SQL map so if I use okay, let me just clear my screen if I use okay let me go to SQL map directory I believe I have kept it somewhere in the desktop CD SQL map oh okay and uh, yeah Python SQL map dot py now if you would have noticed in your past that by natively uh, this particular request won't get supported by your SQL map so you can of course try if you wanted to try like use this 8156-ws and see whether it is working or not so I can say hyphen u and then add this particular URL and let's go back and check the request slash ws okay and uh, you can uh, let it go or give it a go and see if it is working or not okay let's say yeah okay so, so do you want to quit make sure that's up to date no let's just run whatever you want to run okay so it will fail anyway it will fail the reason being is SQL map is not designed to uh, accept this web socket directly so what is the simplest and easiest way to deal with that well we can use one of the own script so let's just go ahead and uh, let me show you that I can say test dot py so this particular script is again uh, provided already by this guy uh, in this particular block uh, you can go ahead and copy it and modify it as per your need so over here you could see that it's really that simple uh, it's just like importing some of the HTTP request handler TCP server and uh, yeah using WebSocket you need to have WebSocket present so you can get it done by using pip also so pip install WebSocket then this is where the send ws so this is basically creating the your ws server connection and yeah there is some replacement i believe this is with double quote with single slash just to maintain the json structure next you will have the employee id so just like you have seen here right the, the it is trying to maintain the same format basically and then send the request and uh, in the later part within the same script you will see that it is taking host port and content type so uh, just to convert from your HTML or normal get request uh, with HTML plane to WS server it's acting as like you know middleware I believe he has named also middleware server okay and then it is uh, creating a listener or middleware server on pit num uh, port number 8081 so let's just go ahead and run this script and then see whether it will help or not so I will say python3 and test.py okay so this particular script is basically running now let's go to our SQL map and try a run okay so I can anyway go to SQL map and yeah SQL map okay then I will say Python ah, sorry Python SQL map dot py and then I will say hyphen u then I have to basically provide the URL uh, which you can take from here so I can always go here click a copy go back here and uh, try to use that now there are some changes obviously we have to do uh, the first changes that we need to do is basically change this port let me just get rid of this additional double quote 
so I can say this port to be yeah 8081 because that is where our listener is running right and then I will say ID equal to 1 or 2 whatever and then I would say hyphen hyphen DBS then you run it oh, okay it says Python not found let me just run it again okay and now you run it and let's wait and see okay you wanna skip all this thing yes okay I don't wanna do further thing so let's just go ahead and run the SQL map just like we usually run it okay it is also increasing for first type twisting I'm gonna say no uh, union character no let's just give me whatever information you could basically I false positive do you want to keep testing the other parameter no okay so after running this particular SQL map you could see that it has dumped us the database information like you know employee DB information schema and performance schema and all those things so I hope you would have uh, learned something out of this video and this video will definitely help you to get some idea about how to use this uh, particular automation script as well so make sure you like this video and let me know if you have any questions and great thanks to this guy he has written a very detailed blog about it so i just did words uh, make a video out of it so that you get some better knowledge out of it right and again if you have any question or anything uh, do check out the other videos also that i have made on websocket and get some idea thanks for watching have a great time bye bye